another recent project we have just completed is with the Yaraba community in North Queensland. We've had a very long relationship with this community. And uh, this relates to young people and binge drinking. Uh, like, yeah, like most communities across Australia, like most young people, young people in Yaraba binge drink. And by binge drinking, I mean drinking to get drunk when young people or anybody who drinks with the sole purpose of getting drunk. A few years ago, the Yaraba community was worried about binge drinking becoming a problem. Uh, the Commonwealth itself, uh, it has been a, an issue across Australia. The Commonwealth put out a program of funding. Communities were encouraged to develop their own local solutions to binge drinking. And Yaraba was successful with one of those programs. And they got, because of the relationship we've had with them for a long time, they got in touch with us and a group of us researchers from JCU, University of New South Wales, and the University of Newcastle, we formed a consortium. We worked with them, and we took participatory approaches. And by participatory approaches, I mean involving the community, particularly young people, making young people the, folk, the center of their research. So we employed young people, trained them in how to conduct, uh, administer questionnaires to their peers, uh, asking them about the uh, patterns of alcohol use and the reasons for using alcohol. So we got young people, we trained them, they did the interview before the binge drinking program was implemented and after the on completion of the program. We also train them to do data entry. But importantly, when we got the community survey results, young people were surveyed and we got quantitative results about their drinking patterns. We use qualitative techniques and workshop these findings carefully with the young people. You know, young people in the qu quantitative findings said they drank because they are bored. So we try to explore with them what, what exactly this boredom means. And once we began to explore those, uh, 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 those issues in detail, it became clear that when young people said they are bored, they are really, all that they mean is what every Australian family wishes for their children. Young people say they are bored because they lack the opportunities, the opportunities for adult mentorship, adult guiding and supporting them to make a transition from uh, teenhood to adulthood. Young people said, in fact, some of them, a, a very perceptive young woman, you know, the question he, she posed to us uh, was, what I want, what some of us want to know from you, meaning us, the researchers, how you, guide, how you people got to where you are in your research jobs. How did you get to where you are in your research jobs? We want to know. If we can know how you got to where you are in your research jobs, then we may be able to work out where we, how, we can get, how we can get to places. And uh, so basically, young people were telling us that, yes, alcohol education programs are important. Uh, and in fact, the findings of that research, uh, the, the community just by simply using uh, uh, sporting activities, music activities to raise awareness about binge drinking and particularly involving young people resulted in some important findings. For instance, compared with the beginning, at the beginning of the project, by the end of the project, there were 16% young binge drinkers among the 24 to, among the 18 to 24 age group. 
there was 27% increase in awareness about what binge drinking is. There was also a 16% increase in, in awareness about what a standard drink is. Most young people said they didn't know that there was anything called standard drink. So those were all pretty important results. But for me, I think the most significant finding was young people telling us that what they're really looking for is adult guidance, mentorship. And since uh, the results of that research and other related research, some of our work is now foc focusing on mentoring for young people. We've got two grants, two major grants, both of them focusing on mentoring for young people. One is uh, an ARC, Australian Research Council, Early Career Fellowship for Dr. Roxanne Bembridge, which is looking at mentoring indigenous students in the high school system. So the effective ways of mentoring indigenous high school students to make transition to employment, apprenticeship, or higher education. The other one is a National Health and Medical Research Council grant we've got with colleagues uh, from National Drug and Alcohol uh, Research Center at the University of New South Wales. And that is looking at at-risk young people, young people struggling you know, with the school, high school system or post-school young people, how to work with them to uh, guide and support them uh, into apprenticeship or other further education and employment.